Okay. That's probably it. There's a series of circles and little dots in a circle around the symbol. This might be a little hard to sketch out, but I'm gonna try. So we're gonna draw the weird leaf squiggle creature thing. And then I'm gonna draw cir three circles around it? Four circles around it. Yeah. Four circles around it. So now I've got four circles around it. The first circle is almost exactly to the right. The fourth circle is almost all the way to the left. Is it the fourth circle? Oh, damn it. It's on the fourth outline, but the one on the bottom left looks like it's even further outside. Crap. So that's probably wrong, actually. Crap. The fourth circle seems to be the bottom left. And the second circle is, like, slightly right of the bottom left, but still not properly, like, up and down or something. I think. All right. Time to do this three more time, two more times. And then see if it matches up with actually getting me in or not. So one's like a little bird creature. Straightforward. Trying to sketch quickly. Oh god, I'm getting sloppy. What have I done? Okay. First circle is almost perfectly bottom left. Like, like south, west. A little more west than south. Second circle looks like perfectly south. Next circle is m even more west than south th than the other one was, I guess. Kind of. And then the last circle is like it up in the top left. Something like that. I hope hopefully they're not too precise or getting getting past this might be a huge nightmare. If you have to be like super hyper crazy pr precise. This one's like a green lantern symbol. I'm just going to draw the green lantern symbol because that's easier than actually drawing what I'm looking at right now. Okay, so one, two, three, four circles. First dot is almost perfectly west looking. Second one is almost perfectly south. Third one is just south of the east direction. Pretty much. And the last one is just west of north. Alright, I've got crap drawn. <laughs> got my crappy drawings. If all else fails, I'll have to come back and just take screenshots or something. If my drawings aren't accurate enough to actually get these solved. Assuming that I'm even correct in the first place about what I'm- Oh wait. Send you down. There we go. I'm amused by the cutscenes they are like, you have to turn around to see the door turn. Otherwise this whole thing's impossible. Not only does the door have to close automatically behind you, but sometimes you have to stare at it while it happens. Because it's just accepted that close doors will close behind you and mist because the pre-rendered environments uh, work better. Well, the pre-rendered environments assume the doors are closed, so the doors have to close. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. Uh. Yellow, green... Red, yellow... Shit. Uh, give me a second, I need to re remind myself of this damn number, the password. I should write it down, apparently. Alright, I've gotten it written down this time, hopefully correctly, so it's yellow, blue, green, red, yellow, purple, red. There we go. Yeah, I should have never assumed that it would stay solved, because Combinations in previous Myst games have often reclosed themselves and you have to re-enter them, like do teleporters and whatnot. Um this one is that guy. Okay, so there's four dots and it's the weird leaf looking thing. First ring is to the right. Sec third ring is like just just above there. 
Second ring is just around here. Fourth ring is like over here. Was that good? Okay, cool. Well, that's good. I was worried that you'd have to be like ultra mega precise and that this might take several tries, but my crappy sketch seems to be enough. We're going to Voltaic. Looks oceanic. Either a giant well or a crumbled tower, or maybe a tower that's in the process of being built. I was expecting something more volcanic in nature. Hello. And so we are already transported to a new place to be. Very variable rock textures here. Nope, not happening. The music's really a trip in this game. Well, you look familiar. Oh, hey. There's my way back, right? Oh, it warped me right in. Whoops. No loading times. Neat. I just kind of wanted to look slightly closer to the book. I didn't, like, because it was the camera so far away. But it was like, nope, we're going in. Thing is interesting. I wonder what opens it. I'm guessing I get another one of those to put on the bottom. That seems to be the example we're given. What is to be made of this? There's a strange handrail thing going on here. Then it just dumps into the water. It looks so much like one of those spots where you climb into a pool. There's a, a wire going to the top of this guy. This all looks like a weird, like, homemade science experiment. Like they were doing a sort of crude version of a schematic that was more articulate th than what they ended up with or something. A bunch of wires. The connection seems to have been severed, perhaps, between here and there. Because you can see more wires over there, but then you, they just drop off. Either they go underwater or they were severed. I don't think I can extend this bridge or navigate away from it or anything. That, that wire might be attached, maybe. A little hard to tell. There must be more to more options this way. Ah. So we enter the red. Let's go inside, I suppose? Kind of just picking arbitrarily at this point. It is coming back to me, slowly. The knowledge of who I am, how long I have been trapped here. So much of it is blurry, whole blocks of time still floating in the fog that eats my mind. But if I concentrate, I get pieces of it back. It was the dream that first helped me remember. I was lying in the reeds near the near the tusk. I don't know for how long or how I got get or how I get here. I am staring at the sky, seeing a man grow out of the cliff. First his head, then his shoulders, then his torso. Sunlight rims his body like a halo. I cannot move. I think that death has finally come for me. The man stands on the cliff with a book in his hand, staring down at the lagoon as if something made him sad. I wanted to call out to him, to tell him it was me he's come to find, but my mouth is dry. 
I can't remember any words, and before I think to stand, he opens his book, puts his hand on the page, and fades to dust. I thought he was a dream. It was only later, hours or weeks later, that I find his swirling book atop the cliff, and then when I reached down to grab it, it was real. The fog tries to swallow me then and there, but I held on to the firm reality of the book and did not let it. I did not let the numbness steal my mind. Cirrus and Akinar. Now that's the red run, walls running red thing. I think the rest is what we've seen before. So we're slowly getting more and more pieces of his story. I'll try not to miss any of it. Hopefully. Is this where I came from? Yes. Got a bit turned around in book mode. Nope. Not yet. Oh, we have colored hallways. That'll help me at least a bit at just keeping track of where I am and where I'm going, hopefully. What the heck? Is that a map of this area? Could be. I can't go up to it. Oh, yes I can. Weird. Why was it stopping me before? Can I go even closer? We have sun, we have something, something, disc of dots, squiggle, <laughs> witch's hat. <laughs> the left one is a sun or a gear, everything else is like a little hard to keep track of. Oh, there's a way up. And now I am up. I take it that I have allowed the water in by doing that. Or results that I don't fully know yet. Huh. Loud down here, that's for sure. very loud down here and like and there's something oddly millennium falcon about this room shape we can go further down all right I am playing a very dangerous game right now of press the button and see what happens so far. Okay, that raised that. Curious. Was that this platform? I don't think it was. Oh wow, it's so loud right here. And then it's silent right here. Another need of a vial, apparently. Unless they're tied to water level. We could see if they're tied to water level. Try this guy. Nope. Still won't open. The red and blue wall reminds me of Cirrus and Akinar. These paths were given. There's so many of them. Dead end, perhaps? Nope. Not quite. Elevator? Curious. Can I pull it from here? Nope. Seems like an elevator. 
Maybe some portion of its behavior is dependent on the water level. I'm curious to see how the water level affects things. I, I seem to be affecting the water level with the weird... Like, I, I felt like I was opening a floodgate. But I won't know for sure till I compare more. It's just the, the natural assumption. Are there caves down there? Because it seems like it. That is huge. Um... Okay, three of them seem to work and one of them doesn't seem to work. None of them seem to have an impact on this meter. And I also don't know where I want the meter to go yet. This one won't even clinch. The other one pulled but didn't do anything. This one won't react at all. Is that a working ladder? It is. There's also a path down there. How to keep track of all these. Oh, this is destroyed. Yeah, that's not happening. The cavern wall is almost ready. For weeks I have been polishing it, rubbing it away at the cracks to obtain a smooth surface. I haven't been able to sleep much these last weeks. I was afraid I might never wake up, but if I can make him see all that happened, if I can show him the pain his family caused, it will be worth it. These things probably mean something, but I don't have context for them yet. Tomorrow, I begin mixing the paints. The scanning device stuff we read before. Two... of this, five of those... three quarters... it seems. There's quadrants of some kind going on here. And then some com combinations happen here. Huh. I need to find materials first, for better context, if I'm going to replicate these behaviors. Yeah, that seems safe. Let's just walk right into it. What can go wrong? Incredibly dangerous areas to navigate. Okay, are those tar pits? No, I think that's supposed to be water. Like most of it. There is that platform down there at the bottom of that thing that I couldn't get to work that seems to definitely be an elevator. Ooh. Are you a crawl space? Oh, it closes on you automatically like they always do. Oh yeah, this takes me back a bit. Nope, can't reach the light, just is a light. Curious, or do I keep going? No, it's a dead end. We drop down and that's it. Nowhere else to go. Am I behind the door I found before? I am. The red and blue door. So that we have access to that now. There's there was a, there was a lock apparently. That makes interesting sounds. <laughs> Can 
I make it keep moving in the same direction? No. So when I move it up or down, it does a little spin and then it moves up or down, but those are the two positions. You can't do it over and over again. There's a lot to explore in these areas. Just taking in your environment is half of the experience of trying to solve your environment and figure out what to do. Or what the puzzles even turn out to be. So I can't see through here. Can I look at you? Oh. Seems totally safe. Uh, floor is vaguely magma looking. That's a point of concern. So that's the thing I was moving up and down, that thing right in front of me. And go past this rail? Seems like I can't. There's some artwork. The burning area around a tree. Guy and a girl. Bunch of people. Could that be the fall of the Denis... The Denis, uh, city? Perhaps? Oh, it's an elevator. Okay. Curious. What do I accomplish by being up here? Can I interact with something up here? So that's the chamber I was in a moment ago. Can I make it go higher? I'm surprised that made it go back down. Whoa. Oh. Interesting. I went across the middle. That wasn't an option before because there was a screw in the way. I didn't mean to do that. Ah. Uh. I would rank that as bad news that the lava has risen in this room. Um. Concerning. Uh. Hang on a second. Oops. Cancel. Save. Oh no. Color wheels on top. These are all out of order. Oh. They're in alphabetical order. When has anyone ever wanted saves to be in alphabetical order? You always want them in chronological order. That's not a good idea, game. I'll have to number them or something if I want them to be in order. I should probably be a little afraid right now of what's gonna happen now. It seem seems to not be dropping me in, at least. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Dang it. There we go, we're getting higher. What hast I done? You can turn this on and off. Let's go with on. Nope, we can't go that way anymore. Should I lower us? Oh, that fan. That fan is now on. That's potentially useful, but how do I stop myself from dying? 
I feel like if I lower this again, we just die. I guess I can climb on this thing. Precisely what use is the fan? Oh. The lava just mysteriously goes away. Okay. That's slightly weird. I was not anticipating the, the lava simply turning off, but okay. So you should be good to go. You're just open now. You can't climb it back up there? I can. I still can't go through here. This thing that looks like it's from the Millennium Falcon uh, gun turret, actually. I'm not sure why the Millennium Falcon's coming up so much in my head. I'm gonna go back down red because there's a whole other path I haven't tried yet down there. That fan was turned on for a reason just now. I just need to figure out why. <laughs> I haven't been down here yet. There's a ladder that heads down. Wait, no, I have been here. I wonder if the thing I turned on means that this thing works now. The elevator? Not yet. I feel like there's still a place I haven't gone yet, but then I looked back and it seemed like I'd already been there. Am I misremembering something, location-wise? I believe I still don't have the vials. Well, that's a sound. What is this, Blade Runner 2049? What's that sound? That's synth. I'm not- I'm still not sure what's going on over there. And this won't work, right? Nope. Need something else first. We can retrace my steps to see if there's a path I missed. I feel like I've missed a path, but this was what I was thinking of, and it's not the case, because I did go down here before. That's the broken path from before. That still doesn't rotate. None of these seem to genuinely affect anything. I'm not entirely sure if it's on. And that one turns back. This whole place has this sense of being disabled at the moment. No, I think I'm just misremembering. I don't think there is a missing path that I haven't done yet. Or at least not in any of the areas I was thinking of. This just loops back around to me not being able to get anywhere. Such a- such a immediate scene between bright and dark. It's interesting. It almost feels like that environment was more built around the original way of seeing where you couldn't turn your camera. What should, what should I think about the fact that that thing has a fan now? Like, now that it's on, should I block it to cause a problem, perhaps? Probably not. 